Welcome to the channel, I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I give a general interpretation for Venus when located in the zodiac sign of Aries on a natal chart. But please do keep in mind that this is just a general interpretation as aspects etc to Venus on the chart may slightly alter or offset what I am about to say. So please do always consider other factors on the chart involving Venus. Now Venus is in what is known as detriment when located in the sign of Aries, which just means she is not best placed here as the more negative or extreme side of her nature or energies, shall we say, are activated. Now this is partly due to the ruling planet of Aries, Mars, being the total opposite in nature to Venus. Now Venus is cold and moist and Mars is the direct opposite to Mars, hot and dry. And also because Venus is a co-ruler of the Earth triplicity, which is an element that does not harmonise very well with fire, okay, which is the element, of course, of Aries. Okay, people with Venus in Aries on a natal chart tend to be attracted to and love to have romantic partners who are rather strong and independent, whether physically or spiritually, or a combination of both. They also tend to like their partners to be rather dynamic and energetic. They also tend to like to be kept on their toes a bit, so to speak, in a relationship. And they usually lose interest if things become too predictable or peaceful, okay? And this tends to put them off as, again, they like the energy and surprise in a relationship. Now they truly like to see sparks fly, okay, once in a while, so to speak. Unfortunately, even if that means through instigating an argument or a fight, but again, this usually only occurs when they feel the spark or the excitement of the relationship is either gone or is lacking, or is beginning to go. Though this feeling usually tends to quickly set in for these people after the initial excitement of trying to get together with someone and then succeeding, okay, once that has taken place, they tend to usually get more excitement from the chase than from the actual relationship, okay, which is quite a detriment to these people, as this makes it rather difficult for them to sustain a relationship long term. I've personally found people with Venus and Aries tend to have quite a lot of partners, okay, until they find the right one, okay. Now, another quality that people with Venus and Aries have is the fact that they tend to get feelings of love and desire rather quickly and also they can get these feelings sometimes when it is either inappropriate or it may cause them more problems than good, okay? But as these feelings are rather quite strong, they tend to go with them, be led by the feelings, okay, or desires, okay? even if it can cause a detriment in their own personal life. Okay folks, I think that's all for this video. A huge thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button. And please also don't forget to check out my website, Facebook page etc. All the links for that will be in the description box. Okay guys, thanks again and take care.